Cycle 403392. Terran Union Space. Middle of bumfuck nowhere. Hey, Noah? See that black hole over there? Yeah. We should totally activate the singularity drive and fly into it. It'll be really funny. Jason, are you fucking stupid? The manual for that shitty old thing says specifically not to do that. It would be really funny. And we'd probably end up dead, you fucking moron. I don't want to wake up in the fucking soaking wet ass res point for the 20th time the cycle. And I'll never fucking hear the end of it if those morons find out about... I'll give you 20 credits. Deal. Turn on the singularity drive. <laughs> I'm not gay, but $20 is $20 sounding ass. That joke is at least a thousand times older than you are. That's what makes it funny. Fleet Admiral Azarak stood in front of me and my fellow commanders. He paced back and forth for a bit, a sign of stress in our species, then stopped and turned to look at us. Men, today may be the day we all die. The odds of our victory are slim, but we will fight for it with our last breath. The disgusting black fleet of our most hated enemy lies in front of us. Their technology is greater than anything we have seen. They can speak to each other in mere fractions of a second, and their shields are not impenetrable to our weaponry. But we will not falter. Behind us lies Antari. Hundreds of millions of civilians live on that planet. Hell, many of you have family living there. Victory is impossible, however. For every second of time we hold them, a thousand people escape that planet. For every ship we destroy, ten thousand lives are saved. You must hold the line. And then the ship's detection computer started beeping. We will not let them- Okay, what the fuck is that noise? Unidentified ship inbound. Was constantly repeating itself out of the computer. And it was making the most god-awful beeping sound I've ever heard in my life. Does anybody know how to shut that thing off? Azarek asked, a hint of desperation in his voice. You launched the engineer out of the airlock because he said we should retreat, so no. One of the commanders said. I stand by my decision. And you'll be next if you keep acting like a snarky asshole, he replied, clearly a bit pissed. Azarak walked over to the computer, stared at it for a second, and then turned around. Okay, aha, wait, no. He turned around and looked at us. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. Have you ever experienced warping through a black hole? Okay, have you ever experienced warping through a black hole with your singularity drive on? Neither? Well, consider yourself lucky. Because for an infinite amount of time, I felt like I was having my skin ripped off my body, a last stick shoved down my throat, and an explosive detonating inside my stomach. It was not pleasant. Now, the way that a singularity drive works is that... Actually, I have no idea. It does some fuckery with a miniature controlled black hole, I think. Unless you walk way faster at the cost of less accuracy. And by less accuracy, I mean that if you don't know what you're doing, you'll end up in the middle of nowhere. A funny little quirk of the singularity drive is that if you use it in the middle of a black hole, really weird shit starts to happen. There's a reason nobody uses it anymore. So yeah, I experienced what the ninth circle of hell felt like, and was now in the middle of nowhere. I got off the floor that I had my face in, and took a look at the computer. Every single direction around my ship was displayed on it, in some arbitrarily high number of pixels. My heart stopped for a second. We were completely surrounded by at least a thousand ships. God fucking damn it, Jason, where the hell are we? I yelled. I don't know. Oh, fuck. I don't feel so good, Jason said. And then he threw up all over the floor. The cleaning robot would be there in a minute, but it was gross. Also, I would never let him hear the end of that time he threw up after telling me to singularity warp through a black hole. I sighed, and then clicked the scan button. Controlling half of the Leonakia supercluster means that you tend to encounter a lot of alien races, all with varying levels of technology, so every ship has specialised scanning equipment meant to figure out who, or what, you're dealing with. Nothing out of the ordinary came up on the scan. Average level tech, warp drives, haven't developed c weapons yet, so they mainly use lasers and other energy weapons. Yeah, looks to be the average space-faring civilization after a couple thousand or so years of development. I sent a request to establish a communications link to what appeared to be the fleet's flagship, the request was accepted in less than a second. A reptilian appeared on the screen. Bipedal, two arms, brown scales, and claws on each of his five fingers. It was wearing a well-decorated military uniform with four separate medals, and it had what looked to be a commanding officer cap with a golden star on it. Unidentified ship. This is Fleet Admiral Azarak. Identify... Uh, what species are you? 
the reptilian asked, with a confused look on his face. I don't believe that I've seen anybody like you before. Yeah, you haven't seen us before. We have a policy of strict non-interference with young species, except in very special cases, I replied. Young? We are 4,000 years... The reptilian squinted his eyes at me. Wait a minute. First off, how the hell am I able to talk to you? I don't know your language and you don't know mine. And second off... Another reptilian walked onto the screen, whispered in Azarak's ear, and it scurried off. Azarak let out a sigh. I have just been informed that the shields in your frigate are not only completely alien to us, but are estimated to have the strength of an AI remnant super dreadnought. Yup. And you have kinetic weapons mounted on it, despite their many inefficiencies. Also, yep. And your armor is made of an alloy completely unknown to us. Yeah. And you walked directly into our disruptor field without so much as a minor inconvenience. Uh-huh. Anyway, my turn to ask a question. Are you a guy or a girl? I am a male. Cool. Azarite paused for a moment. Do you... have a name? He asked. Yeah, it's Noah. Okay, uh, Noah, behind you is a densely populated planet. In a few minutes, an AI remnant extermination fleet will arrive, and if we don't get your help, every single person on that planet will die. I let out a sigh. Well, I don't think I'll be punished for stopping a genocide, so yeah, I'll help. Azarak brightened up immediately. Great. We have an actual chance now. Thank you, really. I'm forever in your debt. Nah, don't feel like you're in debt or anything, I said. I'm just doing what any sane human would do.